head unit manufacturers are becoming more hip to recent technology, and JVC is now utilizing Amazon Alexa to several of their car stereos. Like on the JVC KD T910 BTS, this thing is packed with features and only costs $100. Stay tuned in a few minutes for our power testing. Included in the box is an external microphone for hands-free calling, wiring harness, radio removal tools, warranty card, instruction manual, and single DIN stereo. The unit does not come with a wireless remote control. Purchase the RM RK52 separately. The rear connections include wiring harness, Sirius XM external microphone, 2 volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, or subwoofer, and radio antenna. We recently covered the JVC KDT915 BTS, which looks identical to the 910, but there are two main differences besides the price. The 915 BTS has dual USBs, one on the front and a rear pigtail, whereas the 910 BTS just has the one in the front. The 915 BTS also has 5 volt RCA preamp outputs, and the 910 BTS only has 2 volt. Besides that, they're virtually the same. With the cost of just $100, the KDT-910BT is a very solid upgrade to the factory stereo in your 98 Honda Civic. And I like the look on the new JVC single DIN head units. My favorite part of the stereo is the new illumination settings. It has the typical dual zone variable color illumination, but it also has this cool feature where the zones blend together and it even has preset color animations, plus you can sync it with your music. Connecting a smartphone via USB will charge your device and give you access to your music apps. Connecting with a USB will also pair your smartphone to the stereo's Bluetooth automatically. Bluetooth provides hands-free calling and wireless music streaming. Bluetooth also provides hands-free calling with full access to your phone book to receive, send, or end calls. Using a USB thumb drive, the radio is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, WAV, AAC, and FLAC audio files. The front USB is accompanied by a 3.5mm auxiliary input for audio as well. Some unique features include, when the battery of your connected Bluetooth device runs low, a beep sound is heard and a low battery appears on the receiver. For bilingual customers, the on-screen display menu is now available in Spanish and French. This JVC stereo does not have HD radio, just normal FM AM tuner with 24 presets, 18 FM and 6 AM. The stereo is steering wheel control ready with the Access ASWC1 Universal Interface and Sirius XM ready with the SXV300 V1 Universal Tuner. Links in the bio for those. The audio settings are uniquely accessed with the audio button rather than through the menu. Hold it for a few seconds. All right, let's test this thing out. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz, EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 29, our HP A903B audio analyzer picked up 19.32 watts RMS. The audio precision read 1.05% distortion and 8.72 volts of output. Channel swap. 
our AMM1, read 14 watts. We got 8.74 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.15 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, at volume 25, our HP picked up 18.97 watts RMS, 1.06% distortion, and 8.65 volts of output. Channel swap. Our AMM1 read 16 watts RMS. We got 8.67 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.27 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs, which JVC claims are 2 volts. At 1 kHz, volume 35, we got 2.2 volts, with 1% distortion. At 40 Hz, volume 35, we got 2.2 volts, with 1% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. For $100, would you upgrade to the JVC KD T910 BTS? Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.